welcome to day eight of our January challenge, working through Karen Marshallsay's arrangements of music from Sky. And today we are working on the second line of music in the third piece of the set, Umbrecken Urlach. And today what I'll do to start with is I'll actually play what we did yesterday leading into today, just so that you feel how that fits together and then we'll look in more depth at today's part. So this is starting at the top of this third page. Three and four. <laughs> quite high in some places there and if you're looking at the music those places are the points where there was a cross over the top of the notes so we'll talk more about that in a moment. So let's have a look at our right hand. We're looking at the very last note of bar four going into today bar five and it's an E and G again. Very similar tune wise to what we did yesterday but just some variations in terms of grace notes and the, orna the ornamentation. So right hand E G three two quick movement and it's the second one that's landing on the beat and then E G G up to the E this time back on to the E D B A grace note crossing over if you can to a G or with finger two quite an unusual move that if you're not used to that and then three So very similar tune to yesterday, that's why I didn't talk too much through on that, just the slightly different ornamentation and just watching that fingering in bar six, G, E, and then one, two, three, four, E, D, B, A, crossing over with finger two onto the G, and then landing on the G again, three, and I would maybe put three, two, and one on, going down. Okay, left hand, G octave. Um, you might do this open, you might do it closed, it's up to you. Okay, nice and steady. Now, to land in this next bar, the C with the cross over it. So, I'm doing an open hand shape and I'm allowing those fingers to be touching the strings. And my thumb is plucking on the middle C, very close to the top, up near the lever, um, as close as feels comfortable so I'm not bashing into anything and then you damp and then you play that again and then she moves to a D all on its own that isn't up there whether you just do that with a thumb again because you're already there or whether you do it and go back down to normal with finger two it's what you feel comfortable with in the time and the space on there okay so from the beginning of that section G octave the top hand playing this time E upbeat into the G left hand G octaves down here three and four okay then we're back to a G octave there as we start with finger three again in the right hand we're about to jump down to there for our three two left hand now goes to a D down here but it's not down there it's up again high on your string again as close as you feel comfortable up near the um, levers up there hand pushes on so that we can pluck that okay um, so we've done a normal G okay so let's put that together let's go from, in fact, we'll go straight on there, on to bar seven, seven there. Okay, so right hand is G, A, B, jumping down there. Left hand, G octave. Dum, da, da, dum. Okay, 
Okay. Three and four and. Okay. And make sure it's as quick as you can with that grace note. It's a definitely one to practice. You'll notice sometimes I'm really hitting it, sometimes it's not quite there. Really, really work on that so that you can go ba -dum. And that second note, the one that is on the beat, is the one that lands with that high left hand there. Playing up here rather than in the middle of the string, it changes the sort of um, timbre of the sound. It just gives it, it's slightly cleaner and slightly thinner in a way. So it's a nice sort of variation on the sound that your harps can make. Um, going then into our last bar for today, the lead in is the E, G in the right hand. And then three, one up on the E. Okay, now left hand is on C octave, so four and one. Moving up to your thumb on the D, finger two on the A. Okay, and that, that lands with that final A in the top hand. So right hand leads in with the E, G, and then as it goes onto the G with the three reaching up to the one, that's when our left hand joins in with the C octave. So those last two quavers into that final bar. Two and three and... Okay, so it's quite straightforward what we're doing with it today, so long as you get comfortable with the jumps up, up to the top of your harp and then coming back down again. So we'll just try all of that then for today. The quaver leading into bar five, so right hand's on the E going up to the G, left hand on G octave at the bottom there. And I'll count you in. Three and four. just have one more day left to put in the final four bars of this set and then we've combined all three. Well done.